Shanti. First of all, I want to tell you that my English is not so well, so please you have to tolerate it. Then only I can give this class. As soon as I came here in the class, suddenly thought came in my mind that these are the souls who were once ruling over the golden age world and now have reached to the last stage means Tamo Pradhan and Baba came at the moment again to awaken the souls which souls those who were lightning light of Baba giving the light all around to the world and how Baba search all of us very beautiful instance of story Baba usually mentioning in the Murli and that story is Allah Avaldin and very beautifully it is said that Allah who has the lamp, lightning lamp, and those lamp can fulfill the desires or hopes of everyone. But Allah lost that lamp, and when He lost that lamp, He was in search of those lamp, but how He can find the lamps which He has stolen? So the thought came and he hold few new lightning lamps in his hands and went door to door giving this voice that old lamp can be changed with the new lamp. Give me the old lamp and I will change your old lamp with the new lamp. So those who were grown up, they were thinking over it. But one child, holding the old lamp in his hand, came to Allah Waldeen and gave that lamp to his hand and Allah Waldeen changed his old lamp with the new lamp. And that was the lamp which Allah Awaldeen has lost. It was the same lamp which the child hold to the Allah. And Allah pleased to find that lightning lamp again in his hand. So now we can understand the meaning of this story that Allah, who is a God, Awal means number one, Deen means religion. God who established number one religion, that is the deity religion, and those who were once deity from the copper age, they start degraded and until the end of Iron Age all the lightning lamp were lost. And when Baba came he only gave this one message children give your peaceless mind to me I will change your peaceless mind with the peaceful mind. Give your perishable wealth to me. 
I will change your perishable wealth with the immortal wealth which you can enjoy for 21 generations. Give your old body to me. I will change your old body and I will give you ever healthy body which you can enjoy your life for 21 generations. So those who were the lightning lamp once ruling over the world, when they listen these words from God, that old we have to give and return of it, new we can receive from God, they at once agree over this business and start transforming their old with the new. In this way, Baba find his all lost lamps and he was very much pleased that all those lost lamps which I received and then he start giving us the message, children, the message which I have given to you don't only let this message remain until you, but give this message, spread this message all around. So that those children who once belonged to Baba, they again will come to Baba and get their inheritance which they have lost. I was sometime thinking over it, that India especially is known a very spiritual land. In our past days, many, many saintly people, many good people who are doing penance and tapasya and leading their life in jungle, and getting many, many deep experiences, whatsoever they were thinking over it. But they couldn't give the message to all around the world. And I can say at that time there was not that scientific instruments through which they can spread that message. And their spiritual message remained up till them. They couldn't spread it all around. Therefore, the land of purity, the land of spirituality has changed into the land of thorns. As Baba mentioning sometime, children, this Bharat was once the land of spirituality, once it was the lighthouse, no light has extinguished. I again have come to lighten the light because only I know what's the reality of life and I mentioned before you children and your duty is not retain this message up till you but spread this message all around so that everyone should be benefited. So when Baba got his lightning lamp again, his first message is, children, know thyself and remember your father. As in the morning, you were listening that my topic is that I will express my experience of those days which I spent with my mama and with my baba. So I tried to recall those days. So once I was sitting before baba, before bab dada, and I was quite young, I think maybe 17 years of age, not more than that. 
And I told Baba, when I try to remember you, I feel pain on my forehead. What I will do? And listening this word with great love, Baba putting his hand like that and saying, Oh my child, remembering your sweet father, you feel pain over your head. Remembering your loving father, child, you feel pain over your head. So these words, which Baba was expressing with great love, and not only he was loving me, but his words were expressing the love of Baba towards Shri Baba. Our Shri Baba expressing through Brahma Baba that I am the loveful father, sweet father of you children, and you feel pain when you try to remember Baba. So as soon as Baba spoke little words, immediately from my heart, the answer was, I got the answer of my question. Because I was feeling pain, I try that I am a soul, a divine point of light. So I was depicting my original form before me. And then I try to remember the Supreme. And I am also visualizing that point of light before me. And it becomes sometimes difficult because I have to give emphasis over my thoughts to concentrate upon the point. But Baba's talk give me the answer of my question that pain is only that I want to concentrate my mind upon the point, but there was not love towards the Father. Unless I am not in a state of love and not having love in my heart for my Father, who is supreme, who specially has come to give me my inheritance, I don't have that much love for my father and only try to concentrate my mind upon him. This effort gave me pain. After that, I understood it. And I have so much love for my father and there was not any kind of effort to remember Baba because he was mine and he is mine, I am his. Before that, once I was sitting before Baba, and Baba asked me, child, how long in a day you remain in a soul conscious stage? And I gave, immediately I gave the answer, Baba, hold the day. Now I understand I am a soul, so hold the day. I am in this state of soul conscious. Baba told me and gave me little example also. When you go to bathroom to take your bucket, give order to your hands because in those days tap were not in the bathroom, they were outside and we have to fill our bucket and take towards the bathroom. So Baba told me, you fill your bucket, give the order to your hands, they will hold the bucket and take it to the bathroom. And when you start taking bath, check, this is your car and you are washing your car. So properly, are you washing your car? And when you are eating, few examples Baba gave me and told me, tomorrow you will tell how long you remain in a state of soul conscious. So accordingly, as Baba suggested me, second day, 
I try my best. Accordingly, what Baba told me, I will do it. So next day, when I was in the class, I was quite in a state of afraid that if Baba will ask me, that child tell me how long you remain in soul conscious state, I was very little time in a state of soul conscious. Because in the beginning when I thought that I have to take my bucket, only a few seconds I remember it. And after some time, I forget that Baba has told me, give order to your hands, these are like your servants. Then give bath as you are washing your car. Take your food as it is giving petrol to your body. So only in the starting, one, two seconds I remember and after that I forget. So I was thinking if Baba will ask me, child, how long you remain in soul conscious? And I have told him that all the day I am in a soul conscious stage, what answer I will give. So class was going on, class was over. After Murli, I was thinking maybe Baba will call me, but Baba didn't call me. I was very happy that I have not fulfilled that task, how long I should do it. So it's nice that Baba forget to ask me. So in the afternoon, I think 11.30, Baba usually going to take second, third bath. So he was going and he called me and asked me, child, how long you remain in a state of soul conscious? Then with a great hesitation, I told Baba, very little time. Because I was thinking, I have the knowledge that this body is a costume and I am the wearer of the costume. So I understand I am a soul, I am not a body. But how long I remain in this thought or in this consciousness that I couldn't understand. And when Baba teaches me, then I understood that, yes, this is the meaning that how I have to remain in my soul conscious stage. And then immediately I told Baba, very little time. Then again Baba told, child, it needs a great practice. Unless my children will not do practice, how they will reach to their perfect stage. Everything needs practice. So Baba not only giving us the knowledge, but as a supreme teacher, specially, individually, paying full attention over his children and calling them and teaching them many beautiful points. So once Baba was sitting in the class, Murli was going on. In between Murli, Baba told one child who was always remain with Baba, child go and bring one plain sheet of paper, a one pencil very thin from the front bring that paper and pencil to me. She immediately went and within a few seconds she brought the pencil and pen because always pencil and pen was on Baba's table. And Baba holds that paper in his hand and pencil in his one hand and told children, today Baba will tell you what is my form. So I think most of the children were astonished that from long a time 
Baba has given us the clear picture about the form of the Father and so many pictures already are there in everyone's home. And today Baba is telling us that I will tell you what's my original form. So everyone were very anxious to listen it. So Baba hold paper in his hand and holding the pencil and bringing the pencil like this. Very slowly, slowly. Like that. Everyone was looking towards the paper and Baba like that. It touches or not, we can't understand. But must touch. But nothing seems to be on the paper. Baba saying, children, are you seeing what's my form? Everyone was sitting like this. <laughs> Where is the form? Baba only touched the paper and saying, see what's my form. And then he told children, the form of Baba is very tiny point, a tiny point of light. I remember it after the class, Brother Jagdishji was sitting who has written many, many books and I was also there at that time. He was asking Baba, Baba, already we have depicted so many pictures having the oval form of Shiv Baba. So what's your suggestion? Now we should finish all those pictures? And Baba told, no child. Those pictures should not be finished. Only you should put one point in between this oval form. That's all. So after that, those pictures who were in the beginning only having the light in a oval form, those pictures were changed and after that, when the pictures were printed, in between the oval form, only little point remained there in between. Then children start asking Baba, Baba, it was very easy in the beginning to remember you, because your form was so visible, visible and no, you told me my form is so tiny point. It's not easy to remember. It slips away from our intellect very quickly. Baba told children, I will make it more easy. Then Baba gave the direction to the child, make few pictures, having the rays, 30, 60, 32 rays of the value, virtues of Baba. He is not only a divine point of light, but he is ocean of peace, ocean of love, ocean of knowledge, ocean of power, ocean of each and every value and attributes of Baba were written and like a rays of the sun. Then Baba told, children, you are not having love for the, with the form, but you have the love with the Father, who is ocean of power, ocean of bliss, ocean of peace, ocean of purity. Whenever you remember Baba, have all the attributes, fill your intellect with all the attributes, and remember Baba. This remembrance will go on for a long time. It's not difficult. And after that, this picture was depicted. So I only mean to say that God the Father, who has given his own introduction himself, and not only he has given his form 
but what's my name? What are my attributes? What are my actions? If we have full faith, then it is Baba, the Father Supreme, who is introducing us who He is. And accordingly, we visualizing His form are His attributes. And visualizing our real form and our attributes. And concentrating upon it and try to remember Baba, how it can be possible that one can say that it's not easy to experience Shri Baba. It's not easy to more time remember Baba. He has given us his own clear picture, who am, am I and who are you, then where lies the difficulty? So Baba all the time saying, children, when my children are doing some effort to remember Baba, I became very merciful for my children. Why? I don't want my children to do any effort because this remembrance is a natural thing. Effort, when they are doing some effort for remembering Baba, it means their intellect is blocked by many, many wasteful thoughts, many, many negative thoughts, many, many those thoughts which are not required for the spiritual person. Even wasteful thoughts are there in the intellect. They blockage the intellect. And when children want to concentrate their mind and intellect upon Baba and to get his experience, they are not getting that experience. And they are very curious to get that experience. And when they are not getting that experience sometime, they became very disappointed. From long a time, we are practicing to remember Baba. We understood Baba. We know what are his attributes. Even then, we could not get that experience which one should get. And the reason is only that we are not checking our mind and our intellect which filled with so many wasteful things that whatsoever we are receiving from Baba, we can't get the experience of that. So Baba always saying, children, make your line of intellect clean and clear. When your line of intellect become clean and clear, only then you can concentrate upon Baba and you can get the deep experiences because Baba wants to give His children all the experience of His all the powers, all the experience of His all the values, but children only try, but what are the blockage? They are not removing it. So once I was sleeping aside Baba's room, those who are old, maybe they know that Baba's room in Madhuban, and side by there is one room, now Muni's sister putting some gifts in that room. And many times I got the chance to live there. Once in the morning, I thought before going in the class, I will go to Baba's room to say good morning to Baba. So, about four o'clock, because I will tell later on, in the beginning it was not fixed that four o'clock everyone has to sit in meditation. It's after long a time it was fixed. So four o'clock, about four o'clock, I went in Baba's room 
And at that time, Baba was sitting on his bed. And his legs were down the bed, like that, he was sitting. And I enter into the room, but there was so much silence in the room, I couldn't move towards Baba and couldn't come out from the room as if this act can also disturb Baba. I don't want to come out and don't want to move near to Baba. And Baba was in such a state as if bodily form he was sitting, but by the mind and intellect he was not there. So I was in a confusion, what I will do? I will move forward towards Baba or I will go back towards my bed. So in this confusion I was standing. Atmosphere was oh, so nice, so still I am remembering that atmosphere. But after a few seconds, I can say a few seconds, I couldn't understand, know how much time it, but Baba didn't talk, but by the neck, he, as if he is calling me, little he is doing like that, because my eyes were towards Baba. And when he was doing, indicating me towards, come towards me, I very slowly go to Baba, and Baba was not shaking my full hand, only he take my f one finger and shake like that. And I was seeing towards Baba, I was alone before Baba. Baba asked me, Child, did you sleep at night? I told Baba, yes, very well, I slept. Then Baba again told children, you should not sleep at night. Because I didn't only told that I sleep, but I told I sleep well, very well, very nice. Baba told, you should not sleep <laughs> at night, like this. And Baba at once told me, children, this Baba, sometime at night, couldn't sleep. He was listening, he is listening the voice of those who are in a state of sorrow and suffering. Those children who are crying for peace and happiness. Are you not listening the voice of the person who are in a sorrow and grief? So I kept quiet. Then Baba told, children should have mercy in their heart for those who are in such a wretched stage of suffering and sorrow. It is you children who can help them. So Baba was in such a stage as if living in Mount Tabu, sitting on his bed, and his so merciful heart, so loveful for each and every soul, as if giving light and might, and rays of peace and love to all and everyone. So Baba, who is not only father of Brahmin, he always telling us children, I am the father of each and every soul. Maybe they recognize me or not. But I am the father of each and every soul. I have come to give the inheritance of Mukti and Jiyan Mukti to all. So in such a way, Baba was invoking the souls Maybe those who have not seen the corporeal form, Bab Dada, 
बट आई कैन से बाप दादा हैज सीन ईच एंड एवरी वन इट इज ही हु वॉज इन वॉकिंग द सोल्स दैट फादर हैज कम माई चिल्ड्रन शुड कम टू मी एंड गेट देयर लॉस्ट इनहेरिटेंस बाबा हैज कम वंस ओनली टू गिव देयर इनहेरिटेंस for 21 generations and baba always filled with so much love for each and every one and i also have little experience of that because from my little childhood i was having great love for the country russia and for the people of russia i couldn't understand why maybe i have seen one magazine it was soviet land a very beautiful land it was shown in the picture in that magazines a very beautiful people were very healthy and tall one like that maybe due to that i couldn't understand but i like and if once jagdish bhai told me that uh, no uh, we started to open our center in other countries than india if dadi will ask you which country you like to go to do service and i immediately told russia he told russia is a communist country no one listening the name of god or the soul what you will do there he say okay i will not go if anyone send me i prefer to go to russia so sometime as if i am sitting and i am also giving at that time i was giving light and might to those people why that i could understand and when first time i went i found six people like that who told me that one sister told me when i was in hospital you came to me and she was weeping i asked her why you are weeping saying you told me that i will come soon but you come so late i was waiting and waiting i told her maybe it was someone else i was not because i came first time in this country i never came before she told no you were when i was in that hospital you were sitting near my cot you remember it i didn't remember i never came how i remember it so like that five six person met me like that and i was thinking how it can be possible and baba told us children if by the thoughts getting power from the father and showering those powers to all around the world those who are needy person once by following the rays which you children are giving to the souls and those who are needy souls following the rays of light once they can come to you or you will reach to them in such a way your state of mind can do a lot of service it is not you people you children who are serving but it is the power of baba which as a light and might you children showering to all around so i was thinking at that time it is our baba who is invoking each and every soul only making us children the instrument to make our fortune bright to give them message otherwise baba himself at that time when he was in a corporeal form giving his message sitting in one place and showering that light and might all around and after that when baba became avyakt even then baba told us child 
children this chariot which is a corporeal chariot i only can perform limited task with this chariot which is corporeal but now the corporeal has become not incorporeal but subtle in a subtle form i can perform much more service than before so i think that uh, up till now bap dada himself are giving message are doing a lot of service and sending his children making them instrument to spread my news to my children so that they will come and get the inheritance and once i was sleeping and about 2 or 2:30 suddenly i wake up because baba's door having the curtain but curtain was so so thin and not so big curtain full uh, gate was covered no curtain like that it is like that and one can peep the inside what baba is doing so about 2:30 in the morning i wake up and i saw that baba was writing something and table lamp was on not the bulb what you was on table lamp was on and he put on the table lamp very thick towel over the table lamp and writing something seeing baba i slept and in the morning i ask baba at night what you are writing baba told me child at that time it was not night it was morning 2:30 and baba was writing the home task which shi baba has given baba has given the home task and baba was fulfilling the home task if i will not fulfill the home task how i can ask my children who has done the home task which baba has given so first i do it then i ask the children so baba was not only the instrument of shiv baba but number one student not only one example but many many examples i myself have seen how baba was number one student always baba mentioning in his murli children listen murli after listening the murli must churn over the murli it is like blowing the button uh, kefir this yogurt and removing butter from it unless you will not churn it you cannot receive the butter and i know after class baba always sit in his room and that time few children used to go in baba's room and that was called chamber class baba and with few dadis and few children were sitting with baba and uh, i can say myself i was at that time a so fortunate child that i usually got the chance to enter into baba's room and sit to see what is going on and baba repeating the points children in the morning how beautiful point baba has given and children were saying baba baba has given this point baba told no child baba also has given this point like that baba was saying it is badminton game is going on on one side i am telling you on other side you are giving so very beautiful about half an hour maybe 15 minutes this churning was going on 
It's not Baba only giving the message to his children that children churn over it, but Brahma Baba became the first student who followed Shri Baba and churn over it. He was so strong in knowledge because I am seeing in my about 45 or 46 years, I am in knowledge and I have this experience. Many, many people, those who are in knowledge from long a time, even then asking about the cycle, about the drama, how this drama wonderful is going on. So very nice experience that how Baba is strong in drama. Once Baba from Mount Abu going to Bombay, usually Baba want to do some service of the people because only children can come to Madhuban. But those who are contact souls, they at that time are not allowed to come to Baba. And Baba sometime, Brahma Baba wants that you children are doing a lot of service, why not this Baba will do a service? And Baba sometime sending the trans messenger in a subtle reason to get permission from Shri Baba that Brahma Baba wants to go to Bombay or to Delhi for the sake of service. But only I can go if you allow me because I am the chariot and you are the charioteer. If you will not come there, then I can't go. So once Baba told one trans messenger, child, because in those days in Madhuban, so much cold was there, even little, little snow at that time. In July and June, we used to take blankets or quilts over us very cold in those days because all around greenery and mountain and mountain. Now mountains are very less and greenery, very little. In those days so much it is. So Baba usually in the winter season used to go Bombay or Delhi. So Shri Baba gave permission and told, gave permission to Brahma Baba for Bombay. It's uh, very clear if Shri Brahma Baba will go, Shri Baba must accompany or must descend in his body wherever his chariot is. So Baba made the program and all the programs were finalized in Bombay because when Baba reached there, it's but natural all the children want to come to meet Baba and to gather at the one place and to remain with Baba for a few days. And Baba sent the news all around the centers in India that in these days Baba will be in Bombay. Any children want correspondence, they will correspond there in Bombay because Baba will stay there. And everything was ready in Bombay and Baba's taxi came. Baba's attache, Baba's so many things and many other brothers and sisters already went in Bombay. But Baba's taxi came at the day when Baba has to move from Mount Abu to Bombay. Taxi came, Baba called trans messenger, child, go and tell Baba because he was so obedient, tell Baba, Baba is going to Bombay. Because it is Baba who has given permission, but even then, Brahma Baba, as soon as moving from Mount Abu, he always again sending the trans messenger, I am going to Bombay. Trans messenger went in trance and immediately came back. Baba asked the message 
she told Bhava there was no one in subtle region. I couldn't find anyone there, but only one red flag is waving. And Baba told, child, it is Baba who has given me permission. You again sit and go to Baba. And unless you will not find Baba, you will not come back. Get permission from Baba that Baba is leaving for Bombay. Taxi has come. She again went and there was only red flag was moving. She stopped there. It seems to be here little more time, but she was saying, here as if few seconds, but there she was saying, I was standing and standing. And after some time, I saw subtle form, Bab Dada. And Baba seeing towards me, told child, why you are standing here? Saying, Baba, Baba has sent me to get your permission because taxi had come, has come and Baba is moving towards Bombay. Baba told to trans messenger, are you not seeing this red flag? Saying, yes, I am seeing. What's the meaning of this? No permission for Baba to go to Bombay. She came back. And she told, she stopped, she was not speaking anything. Baba asked her child, what's the message from Baba? And she told Baba, Baba told, Baba's permission is not to go to Bombay. Baba told, yes, okay. And immediately Baba phoned Delhi. Because Delhi was at that time the headquarter. It is the headquarter, first branch was Delhi. And Brother Jagdish Ji and Dadi Gulzar Ji was living in one branch, first branch, Kamla Nagar. And Baba directly phoned. And at that time, I was only at the center. And Gulzar Dadi Jagdish Bhai went somewhere for the sake of service. So Baba phoned me phone in Delhi and I hold the phone. Baba told child, where is Jagdish? I told Baba he is not at center. Where is Guzar? She also accompany him for the sake of some service. Then Baba told child, give the message to Jagdish and all around Delhi that Baba is not going Bombay. I was very happy to listen Baba on the phone because previously the phone lines were not so nice that one person can listen the voice those who are living on the mount so clearly. Many times Baba's little, little voice we can listen but cut, cut voice. But on that, on that day so clear voice was and I was very happy that I am talking with Baba. And Baba told me, you give this message to Jagdish and also Delhi. I say, yes, Baba. Yes, Baba. Nothing I speak, rest, anything. So, Baba also hold the put phone. I also put off the phone. And when Jagdish Bhai came, Gulzada, they came, I gave this message to them. But first of all, I gave the message to our all-rounder Dadi, who was locking mother of Gulzada. She was looking after all the services of Delhi. So first phone, I phoned her. Dadi Baba told that I am not leaving for Bombay. Dadi told, why? Because everything is ready and all have gone there already and all the preparations have done. You didn't ask, what's the reason? So I couldn't ask. So whosoever listening my phone, they were first asking me this question. Why do you not ask why Baba is not going? But I told I couldn't ask. I didn't have this thought at that time when I was listening the phone. 
and second day Baba sent this message. Some children asking from Baba, Baba, why you are not going? Those children are failed. So I was very happy because I passed. Because I didn't ask, why Baba you are not going? Maybe it is excitement that I am talking to Baba, I couldn't ask, but maybe any reason, but, but I didn't ask to Baba. And Baba told children, we cannot ask question from Baba, why? It is knowledgeful supreme. Whatsoever He gives us directions, it is His directions we should obey. Whenever, whatsoever. Belief doesn't mean only that Baba is point of light. Belief means whatsoever Baba is saying, He is saying truth. And after some days Baba explained it, that children, when Shri Baba gave the permission, the situation at that time, and when Baba was going, the situation at that time were quite changing. So in those situations, it was not right to go Baba there in Bombay. That Baba knows. So Brahma Baba was so strong in knowledge, Whatsoever Shri Baba was saying, he was saying, Yes, my Lord, yes. Never why, never question how it can be possible. It's not possible. It's very difficult. Baba always saying, if Baba is saying it's easy, this Baba can never say it's difficult. Children, it's easy. Only we children are making easy a difficult because sometimes we couldn't understand the proper method. And we start to say, Baba, you are saying easy, but it's not easy. I have seen my Baba that how strong he was in knowledge. As always he is suggesting us children, first do What's the effort you have to do for getting success in anything? But after doing all kind of efforts, if you are not succeeded, never think of it. And have only one thought that whatsoever has done, it is for the beneficial purpose. That's all. Then only you can think only those thoughts can come into your mind which are necessary. Wasteful thought can never enter your mind. And Baba was always in such a state. When our Mama was in such a serious stage and she left her body, and you can imagine so many children all around and having great love for Mama, and only one Baba who has to control everyone, it was not easy task. And all the children, because when Mama's health was not so good, many children, and that was the season days, June month was the season days, when all around the centers, children visiting Mount Abu, and Mama left the body in those days, Children can cry, children can do, because everyone's stage is not so powerful that they become detachless or such a stage they can kept at that time. But Baba told children, your mama, who is a pillar of this Shagya, I think it is the test of the children, test of Baba, and your mama will come back. Okay? Children never thought that your mama has gone. She will come back. But how she will come back? You will send application by the state of remembrance to Shri Baba that Baba send our mama back. 
Baba will al always sit with you and send the application and you all children will set the application. That Baba, Mama is great importance having in this yajna, and she the right hand of Baba, how she can go? Baba sent our Mama back. So all the children thinking Baba is saying that your Mama can come back. And children, you should send the application to Baba and Baba will also send application with you children. So don't fluctuate your state thinking our Mama has left the body, but Mama can come, Baba will take, Baba is taking your test. So with Baba in the small history hall, all children were sitting, whole the night. And in between, Baba sent the trans messenger and told, see, what is the response of Baba? And trans messenger gave the message, Baba, Mama is lying there, very thin, thin ropes, as if pulling Mama down. And all around, so many thin, thin ropes, like, it is a scene, like, Mama, they are pulling Mama down. So Baba told children, have you seen? that your application has reached to Baba and this application pulling Mama down so children remain remembrance in Baba and don't have only this single thought that me, our Mama will not come back. Be in this sure stage that your Mama will come back and be in your state of remembrance. No one shedding the tears. Everyone was full night. No one only like that doing their eyes. But everyone so alert sitting in Baba's remembrance. On the other hand, Baba was preparing everything for the funeral. Where to take Mama that was decorated, everything was ready on that side. On this side, he was preparing everyone. And in the morning, the time came when to take Mama to the graveyard. So everyone seeing towards Baba, Baba told child, Mama can come from the fire also. Why you are thinking that Mama will not come? Be in this state of yoga, so powerful. And everyone was so powerful. And Baba also, when in India it is the system and custom that they are taking the body on one sheet and putting on the shoulder that and taking it out. Baba himself gave the shoulder and children were also, some brothers giving the shoulder and taking Mama out the graveyard for the funeral. And at last, see, whole the night, whole the day has passed. Children can't have the time to shed their tears because everyone in this state, at last the body was finished. Children came back and Baba told children, Baba has told you, if Mama died, eat halwa, Baba died, eat halwa. No, prepare halwa and everyone will eat halwa. What has happened? Mama has gone. But everyone was in such a state of yoga that make everyone so powerful that no one shed tears. And everyone was in such a state of yoga that as if what has happened, it is, it has to be happened. And it was so final. At that time, Baba told children, drama. What has happened, happened. You have tried, Baba has tried the best, whole the night. It is for the benefit. Baba must have used Mama for some noble purpose. So Baba has taken the mother. Don't even think our mother has gone. 
children who is your mother and who is your father it is only one your mother and father she was only the instrument because brahma baba's body is the body of male so shiv baba only make the instrument mama as your mother for the time being like that baba start giving murli so powerful murli in such a way that every child was strong enough seeing the role of drama as if nothing has happened and when we came back from the fundal ground some sisters some of our dadis also came from their city late at night and they were in such a state when they saw that every one here is as if nothing has happened where is silence not silence of sorrow but silence of yoga so those who were coming they were also in that state they couldn't understand why no one is weeping here not so that atmosphere and when they used to go to baba baba told children why you came to baba to express your sorrow to baba for expressing your sorrow you have come here what children will say <laughs> they will quite come quiet so baba always suggesting us children children do effort whatever situation arises whatever effort best one can do they should do the best effort but after the effort what will be the result accept it as happily as a very beautiful and very nice scene one can imagine your stage should remain such a stable stage and i have seen because mama was such a important hand such a right hand of baba such a useful instrument for the yagya we can't say that uh, it can't affect brahma baba but brahma baba has made his stage so stable not only his stage stable but with his stage each and every children were at that time in such a powerful and stable stage as if they passed this test with great numbers so baba always suggesting children don't only think of your stage but always think my stage should maintain the stage of others else sometime one person due to his past and scars are some weaknesses are some may be some situation arises due to that person is very tense or very irritated and they speak some words which they should not speak or create such atmosphere which they should not create but due to their situations they are compelled or they are weak by their sanskars they are behaving in a bad way but we save ourselves okay maybe due to any reason i should not accept whatsoever bad words they are speaking and whatsoever behavior they are doing i should save myself but now baba is saying don't only save yourself but also try to save that person who is not behaving well because due to their past sanskars or due to their circumstances the person is compelled to behave badly to other person and accumulating their sinful accounts your duty is to help that person whatsoever power you have derived from baba have good wishes for that soul so that that soul will also get rid from the weaknesses so i have seen that baba not only progressing himself but also giving his all the experience all the time to his children children today baba has done 
this special effort and got this special experience. Children, you should also try to do it. In such a way, Baba is taking the boat across and also putting the children in that boat, taking with him. But it depends upon each and everyone's effort, how much effort they follow. But Baba is always pushing his children to follow. And he is also inspiring all of us. Children, whatsoever goodness you have with your li in your life, don't only think of retaining that goodness until you, but shower it to others. In this way, the message of Baba can go all around. And one experience, only last one experience I will share to you, sometime we are, because in the beginning, many children were having visions. And Baba told so many times in Murli's, at the end, so many children will again get the vision. Of those vision will be in which form that we will see when the time of end will come. But once I was with Baba in Bombay, and Baba usually, we were three Kumaris, went to meet Baba because Baba specially invited us that Baba is in Bombay, and I invited you children here, come and see Bombay. So with getting the invitation from Baba, with Badi Didi, because she was one elderly sister, that uh, Manmoini Didi, she was looking after the centers of Delhi, and she take us to Baba in Bombay. When we went to Baba, Baba usually giving us many, many news and sending us to those person to whom Baba customed or whom Baba knows, child, go there and give this message to such and such soul. So whatsoever Baba was teaching us, we are going and giving that message to that person. Once in the morning time, Baba usually going to hanging garden and Nehru garden, two gardens are side by side. Sometime he was going in hanging garden, sometime in Nehru garden. And we Kumaris accompanies Baba. So once I saw that Baba was standing with his children, because two cars usually were going, and one brother, who was holding a pot with water and putting this, giving this water to sun because he was the worshipper of sun. And he was putting water to the sun. So I asked Baba, can I give message to this person? Because I was thinking the sun of knowledge is here and this fellow is worshipping this son, he cannot give anything to him. And I told Baba, I will give this message to this person. Baba told, child, leave it. Leave it. Okay. But it is human intellect. Three days, I was looking after that person who was standing. And daily, the same time, he was worshipping the sun, and in this side, Baba was talking with his children. On third day, I was seeing that that person with a very fast speed, holding that water pot which he was holding, he put that water pot where he was standing, and coming with fast speed towards Baba. And as soon as he reached to Baba, he fell down on the feet of Baba. And Baba hold him from his shoulders and as if embrace him. Tears were from his eyes. And Baba removed his handkerchief and washed his tears. 
as Baba washed his tears, he saw towards Baba, he ran away. Our time was also over. We also came outside. Children's thought must be going on. So Baba told one brother, child, go inside and ask this fellow why he fell down on the feet of Baba and why he was weeping. Brother went and asked him. And he was telling, he told, that person told, that uh, from long a time, I am worshipper of Vishnu, God Vishnu. So, I was seeing this fellow Baba as Vishnu. So, I fell down on his feet. Then, brother told that uh, to whom you have seen as a Vishnu, he stayed in such a such place. If you want to listen knowledge daily, you can come there. We are inviting you. And he told, no, I only want to have a peep, darshan, visualize vision of my God Vishnu that I have taken. That's all. What has happened? Because uh, first, when he saw from Baba the form of Vishnu, he was very pleased to see it. And he told, while I saw my God Vishnu, with great happiness, tears start to come out from my tear, ears, eyes. But as soon as Baba washed his tears, and he saw this old man, our old Baba, then he ran away. Oh, he is not the Vishnu, he is someone else. Therefore, Baba always telling us children, unless people will not understand Brahma, they could not understand Shiva Baba. Both should be understood. Some are understanding who the God is, but they don't have full faith over Brahma Baba, whose chariot he is. Unless they will not understood both, they are not known having faith in God. This person has seen, but when he saw that this is the ordinary person standing before me, so he ran away that I was seeing the Vishnu, he is not a Vishnu, he is someone else. He ran away. His role was this much, that only he has the vision. I can say until that time his role was not that he has to become Brahmin. It is the fortunate children who only having this fortune of becoming Brahmin and getting the inheritance from the father. Each and every soul don't have this role. So we, the children of our Supreme Father, we must understand who our Brahma Baba is and who Shri Baba is. Some children at that time start saying, Baba, to remember Shri Baba, it's very difficult. For us, we want to see you. Baba told, okay, children, see me, but who is seeing through me to you? Have this in your mind. If only you start to see this body, then you can increase your sinful account. And if you stop only to see this body, but through this body, who is seeing towards you, have this in your mind, it will decrease your sinful accounts. It will become easy for the children to remember Baba. So in each and every part, wherever our centers are, we are seeing that one Baba's room, which is very beautiful room, everywhere is situated, and all the children are having the picture in Baba's room, Shri Baba 
and Brahma Baba. Because through Brahma Baba, Shri Baba has given us the knowledge, talk us, listen us. Similarly, up till now, we are visualizing that scene before us that Bab, Dada, both are giving us the sustenance as they have given in a corporeal form. Om Shanti.